that is just so truly, truly heart-wrenching that I don't think I've, I've seen anything like it before. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the Antiques Roadshow valuations that brought tears to the eyes of their owners. Such oh history. God. It's a special teapot. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Be sure to stick around until number one, because it's guaranteed to make you cry too. Number nine, English Delftware. They're very peculiar. What do you know about them? How much would you spend on a pair of plates? Well, probably not as much as these four porcelain pieces were valued at. Dating back to around 1695, these were passed down by the guest's husband's family. Created as an attempt to replicate Chinese porcelain, these pieces are surprisingly well sought after. This is really quite an important piece of pottery. Even in their damaged condition, these rare items are worth a staggering 10,000 and 20,000 respectively. Oh my god! <laughs> as such, the guest simply couldn't hold back her tears, and we can't blame her. Can I cry now? Really <laughs> That's right. yeah. Number eight, a hidden message. This piece certainly has an interesting history. And the discs that are around it, they're known as spoons. The guest grandmother was the original owner, and she had deduced that whoever gave her this brooch had likely broken her heart as she refused to talk about them. That's where expert Susan Rumfit dropped the bombshell that these brooches were traditionally worn at weddings. <gasps> You're Joking. No, no. Oh my god, do you know what? I wonder who broke whose heart here. That's where the waterworks started. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's fine. It's, it's fine. It is it is emotional, isn't it? Finally getting some insight into her grandmother's love life and possible identity of her grandfather was simply overwhelming. Number seven, rock crystal box. This piece is the total package. Was it all bright and sparkly and in 3D before you bought it? No, Did it you wasn't see it? at all. Picked up by the guest at an online auction for only £32. Believed to just be made of glass by the seller, this piece was actually made of rock crystal and silver. Its unique design meant it was likely from the 1850s in a neo-Renaissance style. That £32 was an excellent investment, as Joanna Hardy valued it at around four to six thousand pounds. <laughs> really? And gosh, was this antique happy to hear that number. Her reaction was priceless. Number six, Nelson Teapot. So there we have the anchor and the name of Nelson at the top. You may be familiar with Lord Nelson, one of the most celebrated icons in British naval history who notably battled against the French. This guest found themselves in possession of some of Nelson's items, including this rather peculiar teapot. Ironically, the piece is actually not a British teapot, but a French one. Probably old chinaware from France that was hanging around in London, and they painted the decoration on there of oak leaves and proud British emblems there. What's more, John Sandon said it's very likely Nelson used this teapot personally. Turns out that this simple piece was worth about £20,000. <laughs> I'm gonna cry! <laughs> An eye watering price, as evidenced by this guest's reaction. Number five, Father's Watch. Because this clearly is not the original, so he right. had the straps changed yeah, throughout his yeah. life. When this guest's father passed, he left him with a beautiful gift. The whole family turned up for this tearful valuation, as the inherited watch turned out to be a rare red Submariner Rolex. The guest recalled how he, his parents and brother all took a day trip to Birmingham when he was seven years old, and that was the day his father purchased this item. The £20,000 valuation instantly moved him. It's something that you've obviously loved, and you're going to keep forever, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. The scene fell completely silent, but his face truly displayed how grateful he was to his father for trusting him with this. And it was your dad's, and I think that's a lovely, lovely, lovely story. Number four, Wimbledon dress. I mean, that is really kind of restrained, isn't it? Retired tennis player Liz James came to the Antiques Roadshow and brought some of her dresses. This stunning selection of tennis dresses had some pretty hefty price tags attached to them, ranging from £800 to £1,000. 
though it was more about recounting her stories rather than the valuation that moved Liz to tears. Does it bring it all back? I have to say it has no. <laughs> With an inspiring career like that, it's no wonder. It seems almost a crime to have to put a value on them. Number three, Chinese porcelain vase. By this point, we all know how wildly valuable Chinese porcelain vases can be, but this one still managed to blow us away. You can see there are a few stains, a few uh, dots. Despite its slightly battered condition, this large piece adorned with beautifully drawn dragons still maintained its value. Said value was up to £50,000. That's still shockingly surprising. The guest's delayed reaction is exactly what would happen to us, so we can't blame her. <laughs> Nearly speechless. I'm sorry, I didn't want to make you cry. Once it finally sunk in, she couldn't help but cry her eyes out. Number two, bracelet. Jaw dropping doesn't even begin to describe the price of this gorgeous item. Though the owner couldn't pinpoint the origin of their inherited bracelet, the Antiques Roadshow team managed the task deducing that it was in fact an Art Deco piece created between 1927 and the early 1930s. <laughs> oh my god! Wow! That's amazing! It turns out that said item was worth upwards of £150,000, a price tag that meant instant weepy eyes for the guest. But the tears didn't stop there, as her priceless reaction even caused expert Geoffrey Munn to tear up too. <laughs> tears all round, and for good reason. Number one, the letter. It's the letter he left explaining to my nan why he why he felt he had to put himself forward um, that would, would go to her in case anything happened. Sometimes on Antiques Roadshow, it's not about the money. It's about the story. This letter was written during World War II by the guest's grandfather when he was just 19 years old. Understand, darling. I was to fly over Germany of a night and also sometimes of a day. It was the one thing you dreaded, wasn't it? That was the reason I didn't tell you. The letter was addressed to his beloved, stating that he believed he had no choice but to volunteer to be a gunner for the RAF. Remember, don't give up and keep your chin up, darling. Au revoir, not goodbye, beloved. Yours with all my love, my dearest Teddy. He sounds almost certain he won't make it back alive, and sadly, he did not. Reading the letter aloud leads both its owner and expert Hilary Kay to break into tears. That's quite some letter. There's not really much more one can say about that, actually. A true hero. Which Antiques Roadshow item made you cry? Let us know in the comments below. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.